Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a DC motor speed controller for your DIY projects. This little circuit can control the speed of a motor just like the controllers you see in professional machines, so stick with me until the end to see it in action. I'll start with the first component, a 100 kilo ohm potentiometer. Ideally, a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer works better for this type of circuit, but since I don't have one right now, I'll demonstrate with the 100 kilo ohm version. I carefully straighten all three pins of the potentiometer and apply a thin layer of solder to make sure connections will be strong and smooth. Next comes the D882 transistor, which will act as the main control element for the motor. I solder its emitter pin directly to the ground pin of the potentiometer and then connect its base pin to the output pin of the potentiometer. This arrangement allows the potentiometer to control the amount of current flowing into the base of the transistor, which in turn adjusts how much power reaches the motor. Now I bring in the DC gear motor, the heart of the project. I solder one of its wires to the VCC pin of the potentiometer, and the other motor wire goes to the collector pin of the D882 transistor. This way, the transistor essentially acts as a gatekeeper, controlling the motor's speed depending on how much the potentiometer allows through. Finally, it's time to power our circuit. I connect the negative wire of the 3.7 volt battery to the ground pin of the potentiometer and the positive wire of the battery to the VCC pin of the potentiometer. To ensure the transistor doesn't overheat during operation, I also attach a heat sink to it securely using a screwdriver. Now our DC motor speed controller circuit is fully ready. When I connect the battery and slowly rotate the knob of the potentiometer, you can actually see the magic. The speed of the motor increases or decreases smoothly depending on the position of the knob. This simple project demonstrates the basic principle of pulse width modulation, or PWM, where the transistor regulates how much voltage reaches the motor. In real-world applications, this concept is used in electric fans, drill machines, RC cars, robotics, and even industrial machines to precisely control motor speeds. So imagine, by building this small circuit, you've taken the first step toward creating your own DIY adjustable speed devices. Try using different transistors, or switch to a 10 kiloohm potentiometer for even smoother control.